What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Joe, coming back at you with another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, what it's gonna be about. Um, today I'm gonna be giving you my six um, uh, tips, I guess you could say, or key things that'll help you become a better or become a um, the best aunt or uncle that you could be, okay? Now, I'm doing this because I, because I am an uncle to a nephew and a niece. Um, and these are just things that I wish someone had told me when I was becoming, when my sister first got pregnant. These are, these are things that I wish someone had told me so that I didn't make the mistakes that I did. So, we're going to start off with number one. It's kind of easy. Um, it's invest in the kids and the parents. And that doesn't mean like, you know, buying stuff for them and spending money. No, that just means be a presence, be around. Um, when my nephew was first born, I wasn't around a lot because I was at college. And uh, he, and whenever I would see him, he would be scared of me. He didn't, because he didn't know me because I wasn't around. And now we, now me and my sister and my nephew, we basically FaceTime and Skype all the time, you know, every day. Um... And when he was over here for Christmas, you know, he knew me. He knew who I was because he saw me. He's only like, I think he's two now, go almost three. And he knows me now. Like he wasn't, he wasn't as scared of me. So that's a big thing. Invest in the kids and the parents. Be around. Be a figure. Uh, number two, it's also kind of easy. Um, it's be willing to help with the kids. Um, basically, what that means, well, it's kind of like what it sounds. If your if your brother or sister or whoever uh, needs you to watch the kids, like, even if you, even if they want you to come over and just babysit, do it. I mean, you want to you want to be around for these kids because you're going to be the person that they talk to with their friends or that they go to when they get older for advice about girls or boys or whatever. Or, you know, they're they're going to want to be around you, and so when they're younger, you want to start then. So basically, just be willing to help with the kids. And number three kind of ties in with it offer to hang out with them offer to take them off the off your off their parents hands for a while because they're your niece and they're, they're your nieces or nephews and you want to you want to be there for them and it it'll show it'll show the parents that you love their kids and when someone loves a person's kids they want that person to be around for their kids so offer to take them and uh, offer to hang out with them uh, number four this is a big one, okay? Respect the parents' wishes. Respect the parents' wishes. And there's two reasons for that. Uh, one, it'll show the parents that you will abide by the rules that they set for their kids and that you won't break them. And number two, it'll show the kid that they need to listen to their parent also. Because if when they're over at someone's house or when they're hanging out with someone, if that, if especially an adult, if that person does not do what the parent says, then they're going to think, well, if this person doesn't do what my parents say, why should I do what my parents say? Especially an aunt or uncle, because like I said earlier, you're going to be the one that they go to, to have a good time to, uh, they're going to go to you for advice. They're going to go to you for everything. And if you are not even willing to respect what their parents say, it's respect the rules of the person of that kid's house then they're going to rebel and they're going to basically do what you say over what their parents say. And you don't want that. Uh, number five, really easy. Have fun with the kids, you know, have fun with them. Why would you, why would you hang out with them and just not do anything? No, take like, especially with number three, like when you offer to, uh, hang out with them or take them somewhere, you know, go do stuff. Go get ice cream. Go take, go watch a movie. If they're into sports, go watch a game or go play sports with them. You know, do something. Go have fun with them because they're going to see you as the cool, fun aunt or uncle. And you want to be seen that way because then they're going to want to hang out with you more. So remember that, guys. Have fun with them. Okay, so number six. The last one. This is the biggest one of all. This is the biggest thing that you can do to be seen as a good aunt or uncle. And that is... Get along with the kids' parents. If you have to, fake it till you make it. You know, we've, we've all heard that saying. Because what that does is kids are going to emulate what their parents do, especially when they're younger, because that's their heroes. That's their role models. That's who they see as someone to look up to. And when you aren't getting along with their kids, with 
with the parents, the kids are going to see that and they are going to, and they're going to resent you and they're not going to want to hang around you or be around you. So get along with the kids' parents. And when they, when, when they see that they're, that you're getting along with their parents, if they, if they look up to you as a role model, then they're going to want to get along with their parents too. So it helps out the parents also. So remember guys, number one is invest in the kids' parents. Basically be a presence, be around. So the kid knows you, he's comfortable around you, and he'll want to be with you. Number two is be willing to help with the kids. Be willing to uh, babysit or take them somewhere or watch them or whatever. Uh, number three, offer to hang out with them or offer to take them. Um, basically what that means is be, like say, hey, you mind if I pick the kids up for, from school today and I'll take them to get ice cream or something. They can hang out here. You can do what you need to do. Uh, number four is respect the parents' wishes. Basically, whatever the parents say, go. Okay, no matter what. Number five is have fun with the kids. Go do fun stuff. Go to the movies. Go get ice cream. Go play sports with them. Go do something. And number six is the biggest one of all. Get along with the kids' parents. Basically, it ties in with everything that I just said. So, yep. Anyway, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this helps you guys. Um, for all of you soon to be aunt or uncles, congratulations. Hope this helps you. And uh, if you guys agree with me, let me know. If you guys disagree with me on any of these things, uh, let me know down below and uh, we can have a discussion about it. And uh, subscribe for more content just like this. I'm doing different things on my channel, but I will always stay doing uh, talking about football or NFL and self-defense videos. So yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Peace.